Jay Z and Diddy looking looking like BFFs. When it was 2016, you know the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense. You got ads. Let's go. <laughs> they doing they doing something, bro. They doing something. It's all Jay Z. It's all Jay Z. And he was working with R. Kelly, and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both fucked Aaliyah. They shared so much in common. Y'all see this picture of Jay, Jay-Z with Aaliyah when she was underage? Y'all forgot about Jay, huh? We only know about Damon Dash messing with Aaliyah and, uh, and R. Kelly. But that ain't the only one that Jay had when she was underage. The feds just went knocking on Diddy's door, raiding his house to find all the proof they needed to put him behind bars. Yep, you heard that right. Diddy is finally getting investigated, and it has already taken them too long to start already. But guess who's next on the list? Jay-Z himself. It looks like Jay-Z's in for a search of his own, and Diddy might be the one who snitched on him. If he's going down, he plans to take all his associates with him. And Jay-Z wasn't just an associate, apparently. He was the brains behind the whole thing. Looks like Diddy won't be busting any Diddy moves for a minute, because Homeland Security just crashed his LA and Miami pads with a surprise raid. Imagine this, Diddy's all set to jet off for spring break with his girls, and suddenly he's stuck pacing outside the plane, trying to make sense of the madness going down. While we're left in the dark about why exactly Homeland Security decided to drop in, it's hard not to connect the dots to the pile of lawsuits raining down on Diddy, everything from mistreatment to physical harm and even rumors of illegal exploitation. And just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier, his latest accuser, L. Rod, is spilling tea about troubling behavior, not just on himself, but dragging his kid and exes into the mix, too. Let's rewind a bit to the whole Cassie saga. Maybe if Diddy had squared things away with her sooner, he wouldn't be drowning in this legal quicksand. But nope, he decided to play hardball, and now here we are, lawsuits on top of lawsuits, with Homeland Security at his door. And trust me, these raids weren't your average snooping around. Homeland Security rolled in like they meant business, armed to the teeth, combing through Diddy's cribs like they were on a treasure hunt. Armored vehicles patrolling the streets? Yeah, things are definitely serious. They were authorized to snatch up anything and everything. Papers, phones, laptops, basically anything that could spell trouble. And considering Cassie's claims about being pushed into making videos, who knows what they might uncover. This whole shebang is part of a bigger investigation led by the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York and carried out by Homeland Security. And even though Diddy himself wasn't around, his boys Justin and Christian got a taste of the action, getting cuffed up and held outside the properties. Now let's talk about producer Rodney Little Rod Jones and the wild lawsuit drama surrounding Diddy's crew. So peep this. Jones, the dude who worked on Diddy's latest album, dropped a bombshell, a whopping 75-page lawsuit spilling all the deets on some pretty sketchy stuff allegedly going down with Diddy. We're talking accusations of Diddy straight up touching Jones inappropriately, pressuring him into dealing with adult entertainers, and getting mixed up in illicit substances. Crazy, right? Now even though Diddy's out here denying everything, Jones's lawyer, Tyrone Blackburn ain't having it. Diddy's lawyer said this, Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. Now Lil Rod's lawyer shot off a letter to the judge spilling all the tea on Diddy's shady moves. Like apparently Diddy's squad was out here cooking up fake stories about Jones on TMZ and straight up harassing his kid and exes, he said, Mr. Jones is a father and Christian. He was willing to sacrifice his rights concerning his assault in an effort to protect his dignity and the dignity of his family. Mr. Combs was made aware of Mr. Jones' claim for assault from the moment Mr. Jones made his intentions to sue Clinton. Clear. And get this, Diddy allegedly tried to play puppet master, trying to get Jones to ditch his current legal team and hire someone in Diddy's pocket. Fast forward to the juicy part, just hours before Diddy's crib got raided, Al B, sure, who's Quincy's dad and used to be Kim Porter's man, popped up on Insta, dropping some cryptic messages about karma and payback. Dude's been through some heavy stuff himself and seems to think the universe has a way of balancing the scales. Now Diddy wasn't chilling in either of his houses when the feds rolled in, it was just his sons, Justin and King Calms, holding 
chasing down the fort. People were thinking Diddy was pulling a Houdini, but turns out he was just catching a flight in Miami. Diddy's feeling the heat. Every pic or vid you see of him, he's sweating bullets, pacing like he's in a marathon. Rumor has it, he's even cut off the sugar daddy lifestyle he was living, which got city girl young Miami out here hustling her own gigs and selling her old designer gear. A lot of fingers are pointing at Cassie, Diddy's ex of a whole decade. She's been dropping bombs left and right about Diddy and their messed up past. Remember when she filed that lawsuit in 2023, spilling the beans on how rough things were with Diddy? Well, it opened the floodgates and now everyone and their mama's suing Diddy. But wait, there's more drama. Now people are saying Diddy's ready to drag Beyonce and Jay-Z into the mess with him. Supposedly, there's some deep, dark secret he's about to spill about them. Like they're saying Jay-Z had some affair back in the day that went all kinds of left and it's got folks shaking in PR boots. And get this, there's talk about Jay-Z being involved in some shady stuff. Some say Jay-Z had a hand in some serious stuff, like the passing of Big L and even Aaliyah. Like jealousy over Dame Dash's bond with Aaliyah supposedly had Jay feeling some type of way, leading to some major industry shakeups. You know that infamous Epstein Island list? Well, Jay-Z and Beyonce's names are all over it. Now it seems like the bromance between Jay-Z and Diddy has hit rock bottom. And now the streets are buzzing with rumors that Diddy's been singing like a canary, ready to spill all the tea on Jay-Z. After all his lawsuits, Diddy got ghosted by the industry, disinvited from the Grammys, and even cut off by his industry buddies. But one snub hit him harder than the rest, Jay-Z's. See, Diddy thought Jay-Z would have his back through thick and thin. They were more than just pals. They were practically family. Diddy even said Jay-Z and his mom were the only ones allowed to call him Sean. Who is Sean approved from the world of entertainment? There's only one person. Oh, go on. And I call him Sean. That's Jay-Z. We call each other Sean. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nobody else could call me Sean. He's and the no, only person who's Sean single, approved. There's not a single person that, that outside should be, of family. That should be, no, outside of my mother. Okay. Just that should be calling me. Yeah, that should be calling me Sean. But when push came to shove, Jay-Z bounced quicker than a basketball in a playoff game. Now you might think, why is Diddy so salty about Jay-Z ditching him? Well, it's not the first time Jay-Z's thrown a friend under the bus when things got rough. Remember his buddy R. Kelly? Yeah, they were tight until R. Kelly's legal troubles hit the fan. Jay-Z cut ties almost immediately. But Diddy ain't taking this betrayal lying down. Nope, he's on a mission to take Jay-Z down with him. Word on the street is he's got some top secret info about the whole Kathy White situation, and he's ready to unleash it to take down Jay-Z and a bunch of others. Even T.D. Jakes. Seems like Diddy's not about to go down alone. He's bringing a whole squad with him. And this ain't the first rodeo for Jay-Z and Kathy White. Jaguar Wright's been talking about this for ages, even claiming to have spoken with witnesses. I'ma tell everybody about Big L, Sean. Big L? I would just rather do it on the stand, Sean. Hmm. Please sue me. I want to go to court. And I want to talk about Big L on the stand. Wow. What's your thoughts about Dame Dash? Dame Dash got f***ed over by somebody who was supposed to be his friend. I'm going to tell you something right now, Sean, because I know you're watching. Or you have someone watching. I'm going to admit something right here on AT2 channel that I've never admitted before. People think I'm a snitch. The truth is I'm the best secret keeper in the world. I keep secrets even when I'm about to say my husband don't know. I started f***ing when I was 14 years old. Whoa. <laughs> we kept it on the low because I was young. You didn't know that, Sean. And you don't know everything that L told me about you. She even spilled the tea about how Jay's been leveling up by knocking out his competition one after another. His death made it possible for reasonable doubt to live. Whoa. See how good I keep secrets, Sean? And I'm gonna tell you something else and I'll give you this for free. Big L better than you do, nigga. I'd what rather be with that dead man. So how do you know how Jay-Z get down? Do you know that from experience or? Don't worry about that part. I'll tell it on the stand. 
and Diddy? Well, after Kim Porter passed away, some people started whispering about his involvement. They're saying he didn't want her spilling the beans about their relationship, so he did something to silence her. But here's the kicker. Kathy White was allegedly pregnant with Jay-Z's child at the time, and instead of owning up, he wanted to keep it all hush-hush. Some even say Beyonce was in on it, wanting to be the first to bear Jay-Z's child. And on the day Beyonce announced her pregnancy to the world, she suddenly passes. Yep, so Kathy wasn't feeling good, so she called 911 and she said she wasn't feeling well. Well, at first, her death was named as blunt force trauma to the head, and it seemed very suspicious. But later on, they changed it to an aneurysm, but they could not tell you what type of aneurysm she passed from. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because this popped up on my timeline today. Liz Corkin, which was one of the people that was reporting on everything that happened to Kathy, sent this out. Note the date. Hey Jay-Z, I was the reporter who talked to your alleged right before she bought. I know everything. I know what you did. Go F yourself. Your timing is coming. Maybe you and Diddy can share a prison cell together. But one thing's clear, Diddy's neck deep in hot water right now. And whether he's innocent or not, he's ready to drag everyone else down with him. Rumor has it he's been singing like a choir boy to anyone who'll listen, spilling secrets left and right. And it's got Beyonce a little scared. She's reportedly even making moves to protect herself and considering divorcing Jay-Z to avoid the fallout. Can you imagine? Beyonce and Jay-Z, Hollywood royalty, splitting up. But here's the kicker. Diddy's not not just throwing Jay-Z under the bus. He's lining up a whole parade of Hollywood giants to be exposed next. He's on a mission and ain't nobody safe. Now Jay-Z's got a reputation for being slick. He's managed to keep any dirt from sticking to him over the years, covering his tracks like a pro. Mm, so you were worried about him coming to get you? Yeah, like everybody else is. Yeah, he's not your average Joe when it comes to pulling off questionable moves. He's smart, patient, and knows how to cover his tracks. But even the slickest operator slips up eventually, and the streets are buzzing with rumors that Diddy might have some dirt on Jay-Z. And let me tell you, there's no such thing as a perfect crime, especially in Hollywood. Now, if you know anything about Jay-Z, you know he takes his annual Rock Nation brunch seriously. It's like the Oscars of the music industry, and getting an invite is like winning the lottery. But this year, something was off. Jay-Z, who's been hosting this shindig since 2010 without fail, suddenly pulled the plug. Fans were speculating left and right, trying to figure out why Jay-Z would cancel his legendary brunch. Some thought it was health-related, others whispered about legal troubles. But the real tea? Diddy. Yep, word on the street is that Jay-Z didn't want Diddy anywhere near his brunch, and he was willing to scrap the whole thing to avoid the drama. But here's where it gets spicy. Rumors have been swirling for years about Jay-Z allegedly keeping Beyonce under his thumb with drugs. Yeah, you heard that right. Some people claim Jay-Z's been drugging Queen Bey to keep her in line. And with Diddy allegedly in the mix, things are getting even messier. Now, these are just rumors, so take them with a grain of salt. But when you connect the dots, it starts to paint a pretty grim picture. Remember Cassie's bombshell allegations against Diddy? Yeah, she wasn't the only one. Three other women came forward with similar stories, painting Diddy as a real piece of work. And then there's Jaguar Wright, spilling the tea left and right. She hinted at some shady dealings between Diddy and Jay-Z, suggesting there might be more to their friendship than meets the eye. And when someone like Jaguar speaks, you listen. But here's the kicker. Jaguar's never been sued, not once. And considering the bombshells she's dropping, that speaks volumes. She's backing up claims about Beyonce being drugged by Jay-Z, painting a picture of a marriage that's more business than love. Let's talk about the Grammys incident, where Jay-Z offered Beyonce a drink and she refused. Fans noticed this subtle interaction and it raised eyebrows, especially considering the rumors swirling around their relationship. Moving on to the allegations of Jay-Z's infidelity and manipulation. The lyrics from his song 444 certainly suggests that he's been less than faithful and has caused significant emotional pain to Beyonce. And if the rumors about him being a handler for the Hollywood elite are true, it adds another layer of darkness to his character. But maybe the most shocking revelation is the alleged involvement of Jay-Z with the Bronfman family and their unsavory activities. The Bronfman family's reputation precedes them, with ties to cults, illicit trade networks, and money laundering. So why would Jay-Z associate himself with such individuals? Then there's Mia disturbing rant on Twitter, accusing Jay-Z of conspiring with the Bronfman family to steal her child. She said, The day I was served for my child, Rock Nation stopped all communication with me and all my emails to Jay-Z asking for help was wiped from my inbox. My was broken into and every lap was taken. I was trapped in Brooklyn on order served that restricted me leaving Beeklin for 15 years. I sacrificed my career for my child. They ripped me off and copied my style and gave it to their puppets and shadow banned me on every platform. 
platform, but it was worth it to save him from the madness of what you know now. And the fact that Rock Nation allegedly distanced themselves from her after she spoke out only adds more suspicion surrounding Jay-Z's involvement. You all know how 50 Cent stays stirring the pot, right? Dude's always got Diddy and Jay-Z on his radar. Everybody's fair game for 50, and he's throwing punches left and right. Now, 50 Cent has taken to social media once again to throw shade at Diddy in the middle of reports of his homes being raided. In classic 50 Cent style, he keeps the jokes rolling, this time questioning where Jay-Z is in all of this chaos. In his first post, 50 Cent gets creative, sharing a pic of Jay-Z's face, photoshopped onto a milk carton with missing, written above it. The caption, anybody seen J. Lil Puff said he ain't answering his phone, lol. It's a playful dig at Jay-Z's apparent disappearance during Diddy's ordeal, while also reminding everyone that Jay-Z and Diddy used to be tight. Then 50 Cent keeps the laughs coming with a second post. This time, he shares an old pic of Jay-Z waving to a camera, jokingly claiming it's the last place anyone saw him. The caption reads, here is Jay-Z last reported seen waving at puffy jet airplane emoji, lol. Even though the pic might be ancient, 50 Cent never misses a chance to crack a joke. The fans were cracking up at his posts, and one fan even commented saying, that's why he'd been hiding behind Beyonce, he knew it was coming. Then, there's Diddy, right? 50's not letting up on him either. He's clowning on Diddy, making memes, and basically calling him out saying, now it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. And, oh this shit is a movie. I told y'all but no, you didn't listen. Now we have more people spilling the tea about Jay-Z. This time, it's Reggie Wright Jr. who just dropped some serious bombshells in a new interview. He's spilling tea left and right, comparing Jay-Z to Diddy and bringing up some serious stuff about Aaliyah. First off, he's talking about how back in the 90s, it was kinda messed up how older guys were getting with underage girls. Like, we all know about R. Kelly and Aaliyah, but Reggie's saying we shouldn't forget about Jay-Z either. Y'all see this picture of Jay-Z <laughs> Jay with Aaliyah? When she was underage? I forgot about Jay, huh? We only know about Damon Dash messing with Aaliyah. And, uh... And R. Kelly. Yeah, that's right. Jay had some dealings with Foxy Brown when she was underage. But that ain't the only one that Jay had when she was underage. Yeah, I remember Brown and Jay. And remember that song where Jay's rapping about Ain't No Woman Like The One I Got? Reggie's saying that was about Foxy. Ain't no woman like the one I got. The one could love you bad. <laughs> Before that song came out, we used to hear it. I used to tell shit. I was like, ooh, that shit. Him and Mystical, those were two songs that were hot. That It took like a year before it got, well, I'll say to the West Coast. I don't know if they were beating it up on the East Coast. But on the West Coast, it took like a year before those songs came out. And then Nelly, and then Nelly's song with the Lake St. Louis text. But I'm just saying all that to say, Foxy was young then as well. But Reggie's not just talking about Aaliyah and Jay-Z. He's bringing up all these other names too, like DeBarge and Janet Jackson. All of these, uh, the guys and the underage young ladies was running rapid in the 90s. And so, that's all I remember. That's all I think about, you know, with, with the DeBarge and, and Janet Jackson. <laughs> situation. And he's saying how tragic it was when Aaliyah died, trying to rush back to be with Damon Dash. Aaliyah was my wife's favorite uh, artist. She loved the hell out of Aaliyah. It was a tragic how she died, uh, you know, trying to rush back to get to, to Damon Dash. Uh, on the plane. And we got fans chiming in, sharing their thoughts on the whole mess. Jay-Z has been tied to the deepest evils of the industry and it's a fact. Another said, Jay-Z and Diddy rumor seems to be so much deeper than we can imagine or believe. And I am convinced Jay-Z is working with the feds. He is just as guilty for all the murders and human trafficking going on. But I bet he was given a heads up and decided to turn on Diddy before Diddy could turn on him. Now this user analyzed the situation deeper, pointing out that the difference between Jay Jay-Z and Diddy is that Jay-Z has worked his way in to discover that government officials can be bought. Problem is, although some know him and have been corrupted by him, there are other officials who didn't take the offer. Those officials were the ones who sat back and watched what looked like missed opportunities to be down while also waiting for the day. Never forget, there are many Fed officials who got tired of the constant bribery being taken off lists for his high-profile events, at times some being turned away at the door. The revenge is personal. Many are looking to destroy the empire they were left 
out of. So, what's next for Diddy? Your guess is as good as mine. His house was raided, and he looks worried, wondering if they wound something that's going to incriminate him. But with all this heat bearing down on him, it's going to be a bumpy ride. And now with Jay-Z involved, it might get even messier. 